One of the things about using make.com to create automations is working out how to do it. Today I'm going to expand on something I talked about and that is taking an RSS feed and turning it into blog articles to turn it into something much more interesting and much more powerful. So I'm going to run through it, take you through the steps and hopefully you're going to learn how to do this today. Well, let's have a look at our layout. The first thing is we need to work out how we're going to do this. It's all very well to say, I'm going to get something like a news article from an RSS feed and I take that and I spit it out the other end and put it on a WordPress blog. But it's not that simple. There's multiple steps in there and we need to think about what they are. And there was things that I was considering when I was doing this and that is that I wanted the blog to look professional. So there were certain elements I needed. So the first thing I needed was an RSS feed. So I need to get the actual article from somewhere. I'm getting news articles in this case and rewriting them with references, of course. And I need to get that content. So I need to go to an RSS feed and get that content. I then need to, once I've got that, I can either store it somewhere or I can do something with it. I need to do something with it because I need a new title. So after I've got it and I've had a read of it, I want to get a new title for my article. That's important. But then I can just spit it out then and, and get it to uh, open AI to do the rewriting. But I thought, I don't know, I, I want more than that. So I, I need to obviously rewrite it. So let's do that first. Rewrite the uh, article as a news uh, person. Post SQL. So we've now got that. And then we want to post it to WordPress. But that's all our, our last step, isn't it? Post to WordPress. Pretty simple. But if I want to make it look professional, I need an image. And this is a key thing, I think, that makes the difference. And this took me a lot of work to nut out properly, to be honest with you. You need an image. So I need to get a image, but it has to be a stock image. So I need a stock image and otherwise I'm going to have to pay for an image and I need it to be royalty free. And then once I've got that, I need to compile it all together and get it ready to post. So I need it to be HTML, don't I? Because for going to WordPress blog, I need it to actually lay out with the headings and everything. So we've worked out what we want to do here. We've got our RSS feed. We're going to write a title based on the article that is in the RSS feed when we collect that. We're going to rewrite the article as a news person. So we're going to write an article. We're then going to get an image and we're going to compile it, ready to go, and then we're going to post it to WordPress. So let's have a look at how that looks. Here's an example. Over half a show of homes completed earlier on time. And if I click on that, you'll see I have a photo and I have all my headings in here and I have my references saying where I got the information from to back up this article. And if I go into all different ones that are in here, you'll see that same sort of thing again. It's got the headings. They all look right. They're the right heights. Everything is working as you'd expect in a blog, except that I haven't done anything here. Now I've used images of firefighters and you can see down here I had a little bit of an issue with duplicate images that happens when you're learning um, but eventually it came together and we got these nice little ones now sometimes you only have a short bit to work with so can't really write a long article and you don't want it making stuff up because this is news content so let's have a look at how I did that in make and I'm going to go through some of the basics for you here first of all we've got our RSS feed and I'm just going to choose where to start this just so we can run it and you can see what happens. Hopefully this all works right. Every now and then it goes a bit weird. There we go, empowering volunteer firefighters, uh, which is what I am. And uh, so if we'll collect our article from here. We're then going to write a title with OpenAI because we want OpenAI to do the writing. And we're just going to use uh, ChatGPT 4.0. Now, we can use the latest system one, or to be honest, to save a few cents each time, we can we can drop that back to the mini version if we want to. Okay, so you're a news blog writer, your job is to write an article, here's the title, here's the URL of the original. Now, something to note here, if you try and write an article 
based on other content, it can be quite difficult to get the content from the URL. If you collect it from the RSS feed, you get the URL here when you actually download it. So it can, OpenAI can go and get that information and read it. If you try and just post content or read content directly from the URL, it will not do it. I've run into this so many times. OpenAI but can. So get it to get the content from the URL and go from there. Okay, then here, we've gone in and we're making a chat completion again. And we are going to tell it to basically write a, a keyword. So give me a keyword to describe the content of this post. And there's the title there that I can use to search for a single image. Return a result of just one word. And then we're going to use Unsplash. So Unsplash, we query the result of this search here. And we're looking for a landscape picture because we want something that's going to go wide and it's going to return that. Now, a couple of key things here is just getting the picture. You can't just post it. You need to actually basically download the file. So we use this get a file and we put the URL in there and URLs regular is one of the choices we've got. URLs raw full regular size. And then I've left the router in here because I was playing with things that doesn't need to be in there. It's just a random. And then we've got create completion. So I haven't named this one, but if I remember correctly, this is the one that's actually going to do the writing of the article itself based on the content we collected uh, from the URL. So if we have a look, it's going to load. You are a news reporter, write a factual professional article format in HTML. And I'm going to respond to this JSON because I want it to come out in this format title and HTML. The reason I'm doing it like this is because when you do it this way, this gets you the layout right when you post it to WordPress. If you don't do it this way, you'll get all sorts of weird things like uh, exclamation marks and stars and uh, hashtags around words, all sorts of weird stuff. Okay. So if you use the JSON, it's much easier to do. Um, so that's going to write the article for us so we can do that easy enough and I'll just close that. The JSON will pass that information and then we come here. Now this took some time to work out. So hold on to your hats and make some notes here. First of all, we need to actually upload the picture to WordPress. So we can't just post it. I've tried it doing the other way and it wouldn't work for me. You need to upload the image. So I'm going to take the image that I got back here at Unsplash and I'm going to upload it. I then need to create a post. So I'm going to create a post and basically I tell it to create a post and I've got the title. I've used capitalized here so you can see that so that I get a proper title with capital letters at the start of each word. And then I've got the content that was written. I'm putting it into a category and that status is published so that it will publish it straight up. And then I need to search for the media items to find that media item ID, which is this one here that created that ID. Okay. So what it's going to do there is it's going to go back and find that picture that you uploaded. And then it's going to update the post. And this is the annoying part, of course. It's going to update the post, post ID. So you tell it which post you're going to update and you update it so that it has that featured media ID. Now, I've tried every other way of doing this and I could not get it to work. This was the best way and it took me a lot of research. So hopefully I can save you some time with that. So let's just run that and hopefully it will run properly. Run once. Okay, let's go. So we've got our article here about volunteer firefighters. We've got our title that is written. So there's our title coming in here. Message, empowering volunteers, central safety. We've managed to get an image. You'll see here we've got a range of images that are, it's returned. It's then gone and we can see it's gone all the way through and it's done that post. So let's go and have a look at Ember Alerts. Go back here, refresh and hopefully, hey presto, empowering volunteers. So there we go. It's, it's created the article and it's formatted. Look at that. All the bullet points are in there. And look, there's the link to the original article so that you do have that. Now, the other thing I've got to do to this is I actually want to take this and I want to put 
a reference down the bottom here to give reference to the person whose photo it was. Because even though it is unsplash, it is the best practice to tell people that it was this person's, um, to tell people it was this person's picture and to reference them so that if anyone likes that picture, they can go back to Unsplash and find other pictures by the same photographer. This is important and it will be the next step in this that I fix now that I've got this running. Hopefully you like this little scenario. It is far expanded from what I had originally, which was just to collect the article, write a post and put it up on WordPress. Uh, the original one had four steps in it. You can see this is considerably longer now, but it works really well and it looks really nice. It's nice and professional, even got the date up the top, everything's there. Pretty cool, hey? I hope this helped you. If you've got any questions, drop it in the comments below. Please can subscribe. I really need your subscription. It helps me keep going when things are really tough, especially when I'm working on one of these automations. But if I can help your journey become a little bit easier, I'd really love to do that. I'll catch you in the next video.